carbon credits are kind of our, our first groping effort into saying nature is important too. Nature has value and we've been giving it zero value. So now let's give it a positive value. The pitfall or one of the pitfalls is that when you value nature as a certain amount of carbon credits, you're also limiting the value to that. You're saying this forest is only worth, you know, as much as the carbon it can sequester. So if I can cut it down and offset that by installing a carbon sucking machine at a factory somewhere or, you know, building a field of solar panels, then that's worth it. When you do things by the carbon math, you leave out everything that doesn't fit into the carbon math. And so we're seeing like this tremendous expansion in mining all across the earth that is, that is devastating ecosystems and poisoning water tables, causing ecological havoc. But when you look at it through the lens of carbon credits, it's the best thing ever. It's green because, you, you know, the mining is to make electric vehicle batteries and solar panels and stuff. So, yeah, we are coming together, but about what? But the impulse is, is, is beautiful. It's, we care about this earth, and we want to hold her as sacred again. But, but the tools that we're using to do that are themselves the creations of the mindset that is destroying nature. And the main tool is the tool of measurement and reduction. So the limitations of carbon credits, I mean, some, some of the, what I mentioned is becoming obvious to some, some people active in this field. And they're like, well, we can't just measure carbon. We have to measure biodiversity. We have to measure soil, organic matter, like maybe the cultural dimension. Mm -hmm. You know, if we could only put that into a metric, right. then finally we could make rational decisions and we could monetize those metrics to uh, and, and enroll the profit motive in ecological healing. Like, yeah, or or design incentive mechanisms that align ecological health with our economic system. Exactly. And that's the tool that we have available. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's a good thing that, that we are acting on the impulse underneath that. But the tool is insufficient to the task. And the reason is that we can never measure everything sacred and beautiful and alive. We cannot measure, ultimately, health. We have to use other tools besides the primary ritual of our civilization, which is the act of measurement, the act of quantification, which is part of the attempt to capture reality, to domesticate the wild. Once you've converted it all into data, all into numbers, then you own it. You've captured it. You've understood it. You have made it ours. Mm -hmm. And that arrogance that says that we can capture everything in a number, convert the whole of creation into data, that will always get in the way of our genuine noble impulse to heal, to be part of the healing of this world. I'm not saying that the data is useless, right. that we should not make measurements, but that tool by itself is far insufficient to the task.